Time for a reef update. Hey YouTube, this is Brian coming at you with an update on my 29-gallon uh, BioCube reef tank. Uh, this is for the month of July 2017, and I thought I would just quickly do an update. Um, things overall are doing pretty well. I had some problems a few months back, with it, which I think I documented, but I've pretty much overcome most of them. I was starting to have a lot of problems with hair algae and, and kind of brown algae and stuff like that. But I've been able to get that under control. Um, one thing that I am going to be doing fairly soon is um, I'm going to be taking this apart and putting in new rocks. Um, basically I ordered extra rock from A Purple Reef when I ordered the rocks for my new 125 project. And um, I did that purposely knowing that I wanted to redo this um, for a few reasons. Number one, when I put this, t this tank together, I never properly fastened the rocks together as far as um, drilling and using rods or epoxy or anything like that, and it's been a nightmare. Um, rocks come, come apart all the time on this when I'm in there working, sometimes even when I'm not, especially this rock structure right here, starting from the trumpet all the way down. This is one rock leaning on this rock, and it's, it's constantly falling down. It's done damage to Zoas um, on the side of the tank, and it's just a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. Another reason is I really like the color of the purple reef rocks, and um, another reason is I'm not, I've never been really happy with this scape. I feel like I made too big of a rock structure, and it just looks too, I don't know, too full. Um, don't get me wrong, I like the way this tank has matured and and looks and everything, but I, I just have something different in mind. So at some point, I'm going to be re redoing this. I've been cycling those rocks since I, um, you know, put the rocks in the 125 gallon. And just, I, I'm going to wait until I have a full day that I can monkey with it because it's going to take a long time to go through and do everything. So who knows, maybe when I do the next update on this tank, it still won't be done, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that's kind of the plan going forward. A couple other problems is I'm still battling Aptasia from time to time. As you can see, just before filming, I noticed that there's two new ones down here. They were not there yesterday. A couple of days ago, I zapped a couple over here with Aptasia X, and I think I just saw another one here a minute ago. But anyway, I'm still... It's not out of control by any means, but I still am having some problems. The other thing, oh, this is another reason I wanted to, I'm going to change the rocks, is because I just, for the life of me, cannot get rid of this pulsing xenia. It, in my opinion, is a pest, um, a pest coral, and it just, you cannot get it out of your tank once you start. Um, and I, you know, I, I went through, I removed rocks and, and basically scraped it all off with knives and it still grew back, bounced back, and now it's taken over this upper rock right here. Cool looking coral, but it's just not worth it to me. So that's what's going on coming up. I'll go through and show you the corals one by one if I can uh, kind of get focused in here. This guy's still doing good at the top. This coral is going to get transferred to the 125. It just doesn't work well in here, um, so we're going to do that. The trumpet coral right here is doing good um, it's still kind of bleached out but I think if I get it lowered when I do a new scape in here uh, the green color will come back the Duncan's doing really well however it, you'll probably notice it looks smaller I did frag um, a piece off of it for one of my buddies and so um, that's why I fragged a whole head off of it hammer next to it's doing real nice the co torch is just doing awesome just love this torch. I've had a few different torches over the couple years that I've had this tank, and this by far has been the best one and the most successful one. Um, the uh, octospawn is moved again. I had it up here, and it was starting to die off, so I've moved it down here now, and it looks like it's recovering, but it's still not looking good. I've never been able to get this coral to look as nice as it was at the frag swap where I bought it, but I'm hoping if I continue to work with it, things will be okay. Um, this uh, Monty back here is really looking good. The mushroom or toadstool or whatever, 
for some reason in the last couple of days decided it wanted to bend over. Um, I'm going to get in there and see if I can get it to stand back up, but otherwise I'm not going to do too much monkeying around with it as I will be um, rescaping this at some point. I um, can't remember the name of this coral on the top, but it's really been showing some growth. Look at all the green star polyps on the back wall really taking off. And then, of course, this green star polyp colony here is just out of hand. The Zola colony that I picked up at that frag swap earlier this spring is doing really well. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use that in this tank when I rescape it or if it's going to go. It's one big rock, this whole colony here with all these different mixtures of Zoas. I might put it in the new tank. That was the initial reason I bought it, but I'm kind of digging it in here. Um, some of the Zoas and Pallies over on this side of the tank aren't doing too good because of the Aptasia that I've had problems with over there. Um, but uh, we're going to continue to hope that things get better. Uh, I'm trying to think what else there is to talk about. Um, when I do take out the uh, rocks and redo the tank, the Pajama Cardinal back there is going to go away. All the other livestock's going to stay in here. I will be adding another firefish because my purple firefish is long gone. Be getting another cleaner shrimp and another uh, fire shrimp as well. But other than that, that's really all I've got for you right now. Obviously I skipped over some smaller corals and stuff, but I did show you kind of the main um, ones that, uh, that are really thriving and talked about the problems I've been having. So, um, if you follow my channel and haven't watched my series on my new 125 gallon reef tank, make sure you do so. It's a multi-part series where I talk about all the different equipment and things as far as setting up the tank. It's, uh, it's kind of fun to follow and I've, uh, I'm getting to be pretty proud of that tank. Um, obviously there's a long way to go as far as uh, getting it to look mature with corals and, and get some livestock in there. But uh, do me a favor and check that out. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, thanks for commenting, all that good stuff. Uh, until next time, stay tuned. Later.